Hey folks, Nitno here. Today I will show you how to upgrade your tier 1 wood base to a tier 2 metal or tier 3 concrete base. This video is a direct follow up to my video detailing how to make a tier 1 base. So if you're new to base building plus, make sure to check out that video as well. To upgrade your tier 1 door to a tier 2 door, you will need 25 nails and 8 sheet metal. Take the nails and the metal and place it in the material slot for the large door. Equip your hatchet and select Build Tier 2 Sheet Metal. Next, you'll be targeting the actual door piece and selecting Build Sheet Metal Door. You now have yourself an upgraded Tier 2 door. I always recommend to check your server for their specific settings on base rating. Some servers only allow explosives to work on doors and gates, whereas other servers allow explosives on all parts. Let's go ahead and upgrade the rest of our base to tier 2 as well. To upgrade each wall to tier 2, we will need 4 sheet metal and 10 nails for each wall. That brings us to a total for 3 walls to equal 12 sheet metal and 30 nails. Let's go ahead and place our 4 sheet metal and 10 nails on each wall in the material slot. Then once again, equip your hatchet and select build tier 2 sheet metal on each wall. We now have tier 2 walls, all you need to seal it up now is a tier 2 roof. To upgrade the roof to tier 2, we will need 3 sheet metal and 10 nails. Look towards the roof and attach your materials. Equip your hatchet and finish building the tier 2 metal roof. You now have yourself a completely enclosed tier 2 metal base. Now I will show you how to make a tier 3 base. But first we need to learn about 3 new materials that we will need. Bags of concrete mix. Bags of mortar mix. And a cement mixer. Bags of concrete mix are needed to make concrete bricks. Concrete mix can be found by searching industrial areas as noted in the default types file. Keep in mind some servers will have their own custom spawn points. Check your favorite server's discord for more info. Bags of mortar mix are needed when putting walls up. Think of it as the glue that sticks the cement bricks together. These are also found in industrial areas. Cement mixers are objects that look like red sideways barrels. These are placed around the map, typically in industrial areas. As you may have guessed, cement mixers are used to combine our materials and make cement bricks. I'll now go over the process of making cement bricks step by step. In order to power your cement mixer, you're going to need a power generator with a spark plug, fuel, and a cable reel. Start off by filling your power generator with fuel. Power generators will also need a spark plug. Next, place the cable reel in your hands and look at the power generator till you see the prompt to plug in with left click. Then, target the cement mixer and connect with the left click. Switch the power generator on you can check that your cement mixer is getting power by the yellow battery icon. Add your two bags of concrete mix to the cement mixer.
and then look at the cement mixer and press F to switch on. The mixer will begin to spin, indicating that it is working properly. Now you will need to wait a couple minutes and your concrete bricks will be created. Now that you know the process, we are ready to start building. To start this process, we will first need to dismantle our base down to the frame. Use your crowbar to dismantle. This is a part that many get confused about when upgrading from tier 1 or 2 to tier 3. You must dismantle the parts you want to upgrade down to the frame first. With everything taken down to the frame, we're ready to start upgrading. Let's first make the tier 3 large concrete door. This consists of two steps, making the tier 3 doorway, and then the actual tier 3 door that opens and closes. To make the tier 3 doorway, we need three concrete bricks and one mortar mix. Grab your shovel and start adding the pieces to the large door material slot. Place the shovel in your hand and left click to build concrete wall. You now have crafted your first tier 3 doorway. Next, let's put a door on it. The tier 3 door itself requires 5 sheet metal, 5 wooden planks, and 15 nails. Place the mats in the material slot. This time, equip your hatchet and select Build Reinforced Door. We now have a fully crafted Tier 3 door, offering the highest level of protection in Base Building Plus. Once again, if you're on a server that only allows explosives on doors and gates, then you'll only need a Tier 3 on your entrances. If you're on a server that allows explosives on all pieces, you'll also want to make concrete walls and a concrete roof. Let's go ahead and do just that. Each tier 3 wall requires 3 concrete bricks and 1 mortar mix. Since we are making 3 walls, the total for all 3 walls will be 9 concrete bricks and 3 mortar mix. Place your bricks and mortar mix in each wall material slot. Equip a shovel and start building your walls. We now have our walls up and just need to close up the base with a cement roof. A tier 3 cement roof requires two concrete bricks and one mortar mix. If you have trouble getting the roof UI to pop up, you can place each item in your hands and attach it to the roof manually with left click. Place a shovel in your hand and select build tier 3 concrete roof. And just like that, you have a fully enclosed tier 3 base. Attach your code lock, set a code, and you're good to go. Check out some of my other daisy guides on the left and take your game knowledge to the next level. Subscribe to the channel for more daisy content and snipe the like button. Thank you and have an awesome day.